Hello, welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real life American English. Today we're going to learn how to use the word cast correctly. So let's get started. First, we see this. This is a cast iron skillet. Cast here is an adjective. It describes what kind of skillet it is. Cast iron skillet. Why do we call it a cast iron skillet? Because it's made from the process of casting. That's when you form hot metal, melted metal, into a shape, into a form, using a mold. It's called casting. That's why it's called a cast iron skillet. Example, I cook eggs in my cast iron skillet. What about you? What do you cook in your cast iron skillet? Very good. And we see the word cast used as a noun here. This is a cast. When you break your foot or you break your arm, they put it in a cast. It's countable, so I have to say a, a cast. I can say his foot is in a cast. He must have broken his foot because it's in a cast. Let's practice. Did he break his foot? That's right, he broke his foot. Is his foot in a cast? That's right, his foot is in a cast. We can also use the word cast as a noun talking about the actors on a TV show or movie. That's the cast. The cast of the movie. This is the cast of the Barbie movie. All these actors and actresses are on the cast. We use a preposition on. The actors are on the cast. They're on the cast of the Barbie movie. And I can say this is the cast. This is the cast of the Barbie movie. Let's practice. Is this the cast of the Barbie movie? That's right. This is the cast of the Barbie movie. All the actors and actresses that were in the movie. That's the cast. Because the movie was made in the past, I can change my verb to the past. These actors and actresses were on the cast of the Barbie movie. Let's practice. Were they on the cast of the Barbie movie? That's right. They were on the cast of the Barbie movie. And I can use cast as a verb when I talk about actors or actresses. Example. Margot Robbie was cast as Barbie. She was put on the cast for this role, for this character. So I can use cast as a verb. She was cast as Barbie. We see the structure is passive voice. She was cast. We use the verb to be in the past. She was. And the verb cast is in a participle. Let's look at the verb. Cast in the present. Cast in the past and cast as a participle. They're all the same. That makes this verb easy to use. There's no word casted. It doesn't exist. So example again, she was cast as Barbie. Her name, Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie was cast as Barbie. And who else was on the cast? Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling was on the cast too. Now I'm using cast as a noun. Ryan Gosling was on the cast. Let's practice. Who was cast as Barbie? Was Margot Robbie cast as Barbie? That's right. Margot Robbie was cast as Barbie. And who else was on the cast? Was Ryan Gosling on the cast too? That's right. Ryan Gosling was on the cast too. He was on the cast of Barbie. The Barbie movie. Now we see another example of using cast as a verb. What is she doing? She's casting the line. It means like to throw. Similar to throw, but not exactly throw. We see what she's doing. She's casting the line. She's throwing the line out into the water. But we don't say throw, we say cast. She's casting the line into the water. Or I can just say she's casting the line. And what is she holding in her hand? That's called a fishing pole. Or you can call it a fishing rod. But we don't say she's casting the fishing pole or she's casting the fishing rod. We say she's casting the line. Let's practice. Does she have a fishing pole? That's right. She has a fishing pole. And what is she doing? Is she casting the line? That's right. She's casting the line. 
we use cast as a verb in the continuous form. For right now, she's casting the line. Also, we use cast as a verb when you talk about this. The witch is doing magic. The magic is called a spell, and the verb is cast. So I use it in the continuous form. She's casting a spell. And I need the preposition on. She's casting a spell on the pumpkin. That means she's doing magic that's going to affect the pumpkin. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but she's casting a spell on the pumpkin. Let's practice. What is she doing? What is the witch doing? Is the witch casting a spell on the pumpkin? That's right. The witch is casting a spell on the pumpkin. She's doing magic. She's casting a spell. And remember, cast in the present and cast in the past. It's the same. So I can talk about the past and say, she cast a spell on the prince. She cast a spell on the prince and turned him into a frog. We use the verb turn with the preposition into. She turned the prince into a frog. How? She cast a spell on him. She did magic and changed the prince into a frog. We use the verb turn. She turned the prince into a frog. Let's practice in the past. Did she turn the prince into a frog? That's right. She turned the prince into a frog. How did she do that? Did the witch cast a spell on the prince? That's right. The witch cast a spell on the prince. And now he's a frog. We also use cast when you talk about voting. Vote can be a verb and vote can be a noun. If I use vote as a noun, I use possession. My vote, your vote, her vote. And the verb is cast. She cast her vote. It means she voted. Remember, cast in the present and cast in the past. And if I talk about the future, the near future, I can say about to. She's about to cast her vote. She's about to do it. Let's practice in the future. What is she about to do? Is she about to cast her vote? That's right. She's about to cast her vote. Notice that we use possession, her vote, cast her vote. But the H is silent because her is not a stressed word in this sentence. So you hear caster, caster. She's about to cast her vote. Or I can explain the past. What did she do? Did she cast her vote? Yes, she cast her vote. Cast is the same in the past. And what is that thing she's holding? She's holding a ballot. The thing you vote on is called a ballot. And she's putting it in the ballot box. That's how you vote. You write something on the ballot and you put the ballot in the ballot box. And she did it. She cast her vote. Let's practice. Did she cast her vote? That's right. She cast her vote. She did it. She voted. And our last example of using cast as a verb is this one. When you talk about a shadow. The tree cast a large shadow over the yard. It means the tree made a shadow. It blocked the sun and made a shadow. Again, the tree cast, in the past, cast a large shadow over the yard. Let's practice. Did the tree cast a large shadow over the yard? That's right. The tree cast a large shadow over the yard. I know what you're thinking. What about shade? Don't you call that shade? Yes, you do. If a person is in the shade, in the part that is blocked, the part that's not sunny, that's called the shade. If you have a person there, you say in the shade. Example, I like to sit in the shade. We use the preposition in, in the shade. I like to sit in the shade on a hot day. I don't want to sit in the sun if it's too hot outside. I want to sit in the shade. But it's a shadow. Can I say I want to sit in the shadow? No, we don't say that. Yes, it is a shadow. The tree casts a large shadow. But if you're there, if a person is there or any object is there, we say in the shade. So we see the difference. Shadow is countable. We have to say a shadow. But when you talk about shade, we don't say a shade. It's just 
the shade. It's not countable. My example, I like to sit in the shade on a hot day. Let's practice. What about you? Do you like to sit in the shade on a hot day? That's right. I like to sit in the shade on a hot day. I don't want to sit in the sun. I want to sit in the shade. So we see that we use the word cast in many different ways. So watch this video again to make sure you learn everything correctly. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time.